ladies and gentlemen, greetings from Ukraine. My name is Veronica and I'm happy to present you the new firmware 098 for the SLZB06 Zigbee adapter for SM light. In general, the firmware got a fancy redesign and plenty of new features. From the design and appearance perspective, the page loading is more smooth now. The fonts are fancier, grid layout was reworked completely. The interface is fully responsive and looks perfect in both mobile and desktop views. Here we have the new desktop view and here mobile. Let's have a deep look at the functions. The web interface consists of status page, about page, and six group of settings, which are general, Ethernet, Wi-Fi, serial, security, and system and tools. The status page displays the key information about the device and is divided into four sections. Device status, device information, Ethernet status, and Wi-Fi status. Each section reports related information, for example, an operational mode in the device status section or ESP temperature in the device information section. The next tab, General, contains primary settings of SLZB06. As you can see, here we have a breaking change in addition to Zigbee to Ethernet and Zigbee to USB version. 098 introduces a Zigbee Wi-Fi mode. Cool! Wi-Fi will actually utilize TCP communication protocol, which means no packet loses. Actually, it's awesome! Now we SLZB06 even without the Ethernet or USB server to connect. Apart from this, you can control the web behavior just in current session or permanently, as well as enable or disable the web interface while the device is in Zigbee to USB mode. Let's move to Ethernet settings tab. Here you can turn off or on uh, the DHCP and assign a static IP address. Uh, and the next tab is dedicated to Wi-Fi settings. This relates to the breaking new change. Awesome Wi-Fi connectivity features are live now. By default, all the settings are inactive until you activate Zigbee to Wi-Fi mode in general tab. Standard settings are similar to Ethernet's ones and comprise of DHCP IP address and additional sector of Wi-Fi network to which the device should be connected. Let's have a look how it works. I'm activating the Wi-Fi mode and general settings tab. Let's go to the Wi-Fi settings. I'm searching for a Wi-Fi. Now I'm connecting to my Wi-Fi network and that's it. Just start your Zigbee 2 MQTT or Zigbee Home Assistant integration. I put a SLZB06 IP address into Z2M or ZHA settings. And just run. Awesome! The next step is about serial port settings, where you can choose a serial port and speed. Security settings allows to control and assess the web interface, either through a password or by making it inaccessible while the connection is active. System and Tools tab is split into two subtabs, System Control and System Tools. At System Control subtab, you can change the host name, logs, refresh rate, restart both ESP and Zigbee, and put the Zigbee chip in flash mode. Additional functionality was introduced in zero. 9a. A new button was added for pairing mode, if you use it for a device as a router. At System Tools subtab, users can update ESP firmware. Also, here is access to the logs as well as to source from coding files. Uh, the About tab has linked to the device official manual. I want to show you also some changes to device behavior were introduced in version 0.9.8. The first change is a confirmation of successful device initialization while starting to let blinking. I like it. Small but fancy update. The second change is the behavior of the adapter with respect to each selected mode. It is presented in this picture. Link to the picture available in the description of the video as well. The SLZB06 adapter works natively with both Zigbee to MQTT and Zigbee Home Assistant, integration for Home Assistant. As described in the manual, you can have several Zigbee adapters connected to the same home assistant, or you can connect a Zigbee adapter located in different points of the globe. We see that version 098 is a big move ahead compared to the previous release. It lets you have lots of options and personalization and use cases, as well as improved stability and general appearance. You can find more details about changes of this update following by the link in the description in that video. Thank you and enjoy our service, SLZB06. Thank you.